morning everyone and welcome to the first day of Vlogmas. I can't quite believe that it's December the 1st already. That means there's only two weeks until my birthday and that the new year is only a month away. Woo! So this morning, as every morning, I am up early and on my way to the tube station so I can start my placement in the Palace of Westminster. Loads and loads and loads of work to get done, and I didn't really have lunch. So I'm so, so, so glad that that day is over. Almost home, and I'm so hungry. I had to work through lunch today, so I didn't really eat anything because my soup then got cold, and I was like, oh, don't want cold soup. And so oh, I went to Tesco's, and they have those, like, maybe can't press it, it's really dark, um, the Rice crispy bars for a pound. This is my fourth. No shame. I'm not hungry. Today is Tuesday and I look very tired. I keep going to bed late for no reason, just me faffing around, thinking I've got more time, I'm thinking I can have a lie-in, but I can't. The sky is so white today. So white that it should be snowing, but the air feels really like wet. I feel like it's rained instead. So apologies for not filming yesterday. Well, it was okay, except I was so tired and I was so tired. I was just, you know, things are getting too much. But the good thing was that the House of Commons had 10% off in their shop. So we managed to start and finish all my Christmas presents in one day. Oh yeah. So it's like I've had a really short morning. I got up. I had a shower and then my housemate got in the shower so I had to wait for that and then I washed my hair and then from then on I got short of water so I found really white trash because I had to bring some toast like between two food plates on the tube and I didn't haven't done that since um, Tilly and I went to Paris so I feel really like right now but after that now and I decided to use my free Cafe Nero stamp to get a large tea Thursday evening and I've just finished my working week, working four days that go so fast and I'm heading to Flagler Square so I can watch the Christmas tree lights go on the Christmas tree. And apparently it's a tradition that every year a tree from Norway is given to Flagler Square and they have a huge ceremony of the lights go on. Apparently there's carols and stuff. Just thought it might be quite interesting. See my God and sin as we for British support during the Second World War. The wonderful tree beside me, which goes by the name of the Queen of the Forest, is the 68-foot, 68th Christmas tree to be stood in Trafalgar Square. I was lucky enough to see this tree in the forest in Oslo a fortnight ago and to witness the preparations of the tree to be cut down. I would like to thank the authorities in Oslo, especially the Mayor of Oslo, for the warmth of their welcome to me and their generosity in providing the tree and helping ensure that it reached London safely. And now the tree is here, bringing with it not just the history of peace and friendship between Norway and the United Kingdom, but marking the start of Christmas. On behalf of the people of London, I would like to thank the people of Oslo for giving us this wonderful gift. It's my honor to light your tree. In the meat market, uh, we're having burgers for James, <laughs> babies, um, party for Jen, she had a baby girl about a month ago. Hi, we're in the um, meat market, about to have a bacon cheeseburger and chips.
everyone. It's now Friday evening. Today hasn't really been that exciting. Inside my room. Um, collected a few Christmas presents together. And now I'm off to the gym. Because my housemate Rachel works at the gym and I want to finally join it. And I'm wearing a hoodie and it is so, so cold outside. So just being back from the gym, Rachel did a spin session for one. Got one knee on there. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we're having our first movie night. Me and Zara <laughs> watching Mary Michelle's High School Reunion, which is what I chose. I'm so glad you are. Me and Zara to get back. She's gone to get biscuits. <laughs> it's like a sleepover now. Today is Saturday, and I was meant to meet my friend Shannon for lunch in town, but she's ill. So I'm going to the gym instead. I love my new shoes and I can't wait to the gym with them. Yay! Oh, it's so cold. I didn't really want to go out in this weather, but I need to get some food. And the, the temperature has completely dropped. Like I was reading on the day now that it's going to be minus eight or minus five in some parts of the country this weekend. That's just crazy. And it's about five, but it looks like midnight with this darkness. I'm not getting used to this at all. Sunday, and somehow the weekend's gone really fast. It's been quite quiet. And earlier this afternoon, I called Lynette, and I was with her. And now I'm on the tube to meet Rachel, and we're gonna do the Christmas tree maze in South Bank. It's been really fun, never thought of it before. I've never really heard of it, I just kind of Googled. It's like fun to do, and it should be quite amusing. About to meet Rachel in Waterloo, I'm here now. A bit lost though, I don't quite know where I am. <sighs> for a little map as well, and I think that she's there waiting for me already. This is the South Bank Winter Festival. Now, where is Rachel? Now, in Waterloo, looking for a cash point because most things in the South Bank are cash. And we found some! Rachel, you found some! <laughs> Here we are at the Christmas tree maze. We're quite near the start now, so you can hear through the music and the people, but it's quite cool. It's different, at least. I'm glad we came in the dark, because it looks a lot more... <laughs> so... I thought we were amazing, just kind of following the path, though. So Juliet's hidden in the Christmas tree maze, and I need to find her. People. I'm desperately hoping she jumps out of the wrong people. What the fuck? How did I end up back here? <laughs> this is easy. Fuck off, is this easy? Like hidden, like under a tree. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Looking like a massive sad case of my own. Oh, you love it! <laughs> you, you go hide now. It's really hoping that they'd come out and you'd be like. <laughs> I saw them, they were like, woo, we love this too, the next one. I was like. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay, I'm gonna stay here, close my eyes. Okay. And then you just go run. Okay. Bye. Okay, let's go find Rachel. She's probably better at hiding than I am. And she's wearing like darker clothes, so she's gonna bend in better with the darkness. Rachel when it's other people. Oh, I'm confused now. So they do a lot of kind of swapping to you. Now that I'm looking there's so many more trees. Thanks for watching.